Hello, I'm Koel Puri Roche and today I have a dear old friend here with me who I'm very happy to say has finally got his rightful due under the Bollywood sun. He's hot, he's cool, he loves horses, women love him. He's Haryanvi with a Aussie twist. Meet the very gritty, very sexy Randeep Huda. Hi. Hi, I think this is the best description you have given of me. Is it an incorrect one? No, it's it's not so incorrect, but um, I didn't think you thought so highly of me. I don't. I, I sort of, <laughs> kind of, you know, build you up to put you down. But you know, I've known you a very long time. Yeah, um, you have. Even before you did Monsoon Wedding, or at least even before Monsoon Wedding came out. Yes. And you really haven't changed that much. But your circumstances have continually changed. Yeah. Are you now where you want to be or is there still kind of like a desire and angst to get somewhere? I think that that's inherent to me, a desire and angst, you know, I, I, I have this uh, uneasy energy about me and uh, something I've never put limits to myself. So when it's been up and down and this and that, I've always known that, okay, this is going to pass and I'm going to go through it. And I have, you know, what happens to most actors in film industry, like I've been there for food, not a jaded actor or I'm not somebody who's totally been discovered. There are new things I keep trying to do. I think that comes from the fact that when it's not working out here, I go somewhere else. Meaning when it's not working out in the acting world? Yes. When it's then you not go to the Royal Rooster Royal world. Roosters, horses, all kinds royal of... Royal Roosters. Uh, all, all uh, kinds we of weren't talking about horse, <laughs> horses then, but I leave that to your imagination. <laughs> yeah, I was not talking about horses. <laughs> <laughs> your first film you actually got, I've read somewhere, that on the basis of not your looks and not your acting, Monsoon Wedding I'm talking <laughs> about, but on the basis of your Australian accent. Is that, yes. is that kind of correct? Yes, because uh, Meera was looking for somebody with an American accent, really. And I was doing this play with Sunit Tandon, uh, which I never did because I got in a drunk driving accident, broke my leg, my hands, my head. Bad you know. boy, no? Bad boy. Bad yeah. boy, yeah. So I got into that accident and I was laid up in bed. Then I came one day to, to Delhi because when I became an actor, I told my parents, they only had one thing to say. They said, Pudhape mein humare upar boj mat banna yaar. That's the only thing that I had to say. I said, okay, fine. And I've been lying in bed for like eight months at home. So there's this guy, this photographer called Sudhir I knew and we were supposed to shoot a catalog. So I called him up and I said, can you shoot the catalog? And my hand was broken, like it's broken in monsoon wedding. And I said, my hand's broken, but I'll put a skin color plaster and it was a wedding catalog. So she liked you so much, uh, Meera, mm. that she, in spite of hand broken, not being American, being Australian, something about you obviously clicked, right? I guess. So I have... I, I just actually didn't even remember the lines. She was, she was, we were... She was prompting you. No, no, she was, we were, we were like, we huh. both are sitting, we are doing a reading. And I lost where she was... She was on the page mm. and I was too embarrassed to say, Ki, I don't know where we are. So I kept responding as if I'm like, you know, she turn a page, I'll turn a page. And then she said, Ki, where are you reading all this from? Then I sheepishly said, you know, I, 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 I kind of, you know, I, I don't know. She says, well, no, that's good. And then my next test was, uh, she sat there and said, okay, leave all this. Just flirt with me. She's and getting her kicks, right? That was your casting couch. You realize that, right? Yeah, now again I'm on a couch yeah, with a yeah, really beautiful right? Yeah, but I'm not casting you, honey. Yeah, damn, <laughs> in anything. damn, so, damn. But you so can I'm flirt with me all you like. Yes, that's, that's always allowed. I've always done that. Hmm. I, I think we've got a very healthy so flirtatious So this is why the nice introduction, okay? <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, I, that's not... I'm going to have a show one day and I'm going to introduce Koyal. Exactly like that. Yeah, I mean, with my own interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Rooster interpretation, I hope. Uh, <laughs> but that's not why I brought up the Australian accent. Mm. I wonder if you can still kind of uh, do a bit of Aussie speak for us. Oh. Good day, man. How's it going? I'm Randeep, actor from Haryana. I said the same thing to this sweet, uh, to, to this sweet Sheila I met, at, I met at a Barbie, and she got out, oh, what kind of name is Randeep? So I, I say... Don't get your knickers in a twist, darling. Oh, that was American. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you're quite good yeah, with that, yeah. Don't get your knicker. Don't. It's actually they're very nasal. If I say, yeah. if I speak it in a nasal way, it'll be better. Say, so, don't get your knickers in a twist, darling. Mm -hmm. It's it's long for Randy. Now I may have a few kangaroos losing me in the paddock, <laughs> but by God, by God is now that's American. But by God, 
No more whinging about my name from her. Now, I'm going into another, I'm going to so southern accent. So forget that. Okay, yeah. listen. For, no, no, forget that. Choose a couple of lines from this. I can choose a couple of lines. And choose a couple of lines and do it. Do the, the, the Aussie fr slang in a Haryanvi accent. Like you are your Haryan, in your comfort zone, but talking Aussie. Don't get your knickers in a twist. It's long for a <laughs> 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 that was Randeep is long for Randy, okay? <laughs> just just to be clear. <laughs> but you know, it's it's more like, you know, the the like sweet Sheila, you know, grey mate, you know, it's I I don't know. Did, wait, did you I, speak I've not with been, an Aussie accent then? Uh, yes I did. I had a very thick Aussie accent and it's been fourteen years that I've been back to Australia. I've never gone back since I came back. So I'm kinda out of touch. But your, but your accent but I'm very, is, I'm, is I'm quite very neutral flexible, now. Yeah. yeah, your accent's quite neutral. And then you met Nasir sir in Monsoon Wedding. Yes. That was the first time you met him, right? And you bonded. What yes. did you bond over? <laughs> like, <laughs> don't look at me like that. Oh, it was just... Uh, uh, yeah, what was it? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was our, our, um, our common interest towards life. And uh, I had a great reverend. I remember seeing Nasir for the first time. And... Uh, uh, I went into this room, we were supposed to be doing workshops and there were all these gaddas lying around and and there was Nasiruddin Shah sitting with his white hair and you know, he's pondering over a script. I swear to God, kid me not. Uh, the room was, there was a spotlight on him. I could see the spotlight on him and I was like, whoa, I couldn't talk to him. I was sitting there. What like, were you on? <laughs> that you could see the spotlight on him, your bad boy no, yeah, behavior. No, I, How intoxicated were you? No, no, no. no, no. Although wasn't. with Nasir there is a halo. There right. is a uh, halo. There is you agree, you agree, yeah, right? I agree, 100%. So, so I saw him like that and, you know, it was... Uh, but we bonded like... I, actually, it's, uh, he started it. So he said, uh, so what did you do to your hand? Because my hand mm, was broken. Yeah. I was trying to make chai with one hand and all that. So I started talking and he just... And then while talking in an Aussie accent, I spoke in Hindi, which was totally Haryanvi accent. So <laughs> that was like, he said, yeah, you're a Ajeeb kind of character. So we bonded over that and I think that was my biggest takeaway from Monsoon Wedding was my, my friendship or, or my association with Nasir Bhai. So basically Nasir sir's Motley group of Motley, Motley, Motley group of theatre became, Motley yeah. group of theatre became your schooling ground. It became my schooling ground. I started, I mean, usually in theatre, at least at that time, you know, if you're even partially good looking, they did not take in, nobody took you seriously. <laughs> And I'm not, I'm not saying it from a pompous point of view, but it was a practical problem. No, no, I, I, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, I mean, they were all people were raising their eyebrows, what are you doing? And all that. But Nasir Bhai stuck with me and he obviously saw something in me. And I think most of what he saw in me was mostly, and that is the bottom line of all talent, is enthusiasm. Now, there's something you said recently after Highway, which I found, it hit me, maybe you didn't mean it like that. You said, I didn't think that Imtiaz worked with actors like me. He worked with a certain set of actors. Right. And when he came to you, you were quite surprised right. that he right. wanted to work with you. Do you still feel like the outsider? <clears throat> like, because that, that statement sort of made me go, okay, so he's not seeing himself as a A-lister in with the, you know, the, the cool directors, etc. Well, I'm, I have been in the industry for 14 years. I don't know how I can be an outsider. But what happens is that there is, a, there is a synergy that happens with people who have grown up together and if you're somebody's son, your, your publicity and everything or curiosity, you talk about your dad, your mom, your this, your that. So if some director casts uh, uh, in an industry kid and uh, you know, it, it, it can seem, it, it does help in casting a total outsider. And somebody who's been around and all that, although Imtiaz had told me that he liked me in Monsoon Wedding. He had not seen, he's not seen any movie of mine since. And he liked a play I did for Motley. Hmm. So the two things that we've talked about were the contributing factors of me being in Highway. And the other thing was, he said, I could not think of anybody else who could do this role, which is always a plus. And I think... And then I'm, has it changed where you are post-Highway? But even Intiaz didn't anticipate that this character is going to have such an impact. Because it got developed by Randeep Huda being in the character rather than just the character itself. A lot of things that, you know, came about by me actually being in the background, you know. But also it is, for most girls, it was this thing of that dark side that you're dealing with in yourself. You're going, yeah. how many times have you wanted to flirt with the not allowed? Right. You know, the, the forbidden. Right. So you know. what it has done is, what 
I did not anticipate A was that people will come out falling in love with my character, okay, because he is the uncouth one. Uh, and then the other part was that I'll have, mm, I think my female uh, uh, fan following, so to speak, <laughs> or la lack of. I wonder a, why. I mean, lack you know. of a better word. Is has increased. I mean, I used to uh, on on social media and this. I had to get on it and say, please do not wish to be kidnapped. Mm. I said it's not every kidnapper is so Mahabir Bhatti, so not even me. <laughs> 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 Although this is the one film, even though your female fan following, as you say, is increased, that you keep your clothes on, right? I mean, you hardly take them off. That is that is that, that is, is another is thing. I mean, that is another thing. Not that Jism Two did not help. Not that Side Divig is gangster did not help but here I mean there was a oh, uh, there was a, a cross sections there was a certain amount of uh, adulation and, and thing that, that I, I got which was unanticipated and then for someone like you who does Jism 2 and Janath uh, I don't know number one two three murder yeah, all murder, of them yeah. right or all these films which are sort of erotic thrillers exotica whatever you need to call them horror um, they you say that you get conscious taking off your clothes but you're like half, even in this Rangrasia, you're, you're <laughs> naked most of the time. No, when, half naked, no, sorry. No, when, no, no, when, yeah. they, when they say they're going to put you on a cover of a, a men's fitness magazine. So then you go, oh shit, man, I've not been working out, you know. And, I, and, I, and I'm not a big worker outer, you know. I, but in a movie, you're okay. You don't care if you have the eight pack or not, as long as you're not like rolls of because, fat. Because what happens in a yeah. movie is that I forget that there's a camera, first of all. And I'm playing a character. It is not representation of Randeep who died. So then, if you're saying this, um, and I've done a fair few sex scenes in my time, people always say, you know, oh, there's so many people around, and you don't. It's not hot, and it's not intermittent, but it can be. If you for choose a woman, for it, for to a be. woman, and for a man, um, intimate. Yeah. It has never been for me. But you can get turned on. No, I have never. You're been. choosing not to be then. Yes. So what are you thinking about? I am thinking, you know, because you're not thinking about the character. You know how otherwise, to, how, you'd be in you know how to do how to do these scenes. Think of the character. Yes, I'm. I'm thinking of the character, but how to do these scenes well, which I have now, you know, I've. He is the pro at the at the, the at the at the intimate bed scenes. Yeah, right? it is to not do it from the point of view of lust at all. Then, it's to do from the feeling. In a movie, it's not a, never a pornographic scene. A pizza mm. guy does not turn up to your door, and this woman in lingerie says, "Come hither," and they start. <laughs> Or whatever that does not happen. You can't use this word on national TV. Well, well they they can't. They do, they start making out. Yeah. You know, in a movie, it's always a journey of two characters and they have feelings for each other. And at a certain point of time in the script, they, it culminates and it culminates into a physical intimacy, which is the most natural thing to do. But the point is to not think of it from lust and just look the feeling of it. Mm. As long as you with the feeling of it, you can do you can do what you want. We have to go for a short break, but before that, you, these films that you do, are they for survival, money, or greater art? What are you doing them for? Different reasons. There was a time I had no work, mm -hmm. right? Uh, after doing films, I had no work for two and a half That's years. That's the hardest part, right? Yes. And then when I started work with, again with Once Upon a Time, Sai Bivio Gangster, it was still, but I was still pushed into the niche. Niche, niche. So when I was op op uh, given the opportunity by Bhatsap to do Janna to a role which of a drunk cop. It was I didn't even have a girlfriend in that. So from there it started changing. That led to Jism 2. That led to Murder 3. But it was not just doing a Jism 2. It was doing that and then re realizing the reach it has, the music and this and that. So I needed to get two people. I needed to get in two people's. I need people who turn up to see my movies. And for that, that's what I have garnered. I have so it is survival. Audience. It is surviving as an actor. <sighs> To be present, to constantly be in people's radar. It is, it is trying to be a more well-known actor. We have uh, Raja Ravi Varma, uh, a.k.a. Randeep Huda right here, who is going to put color on this blank canvas. What are you going to make? I don't know what I'm going to make. Okay. Uh, if you're really just free with yourself, you can wing anything. So wing it then. So I'm Do you have something in your mind? No. But since we are here, painter Raja Ravi Varma obviously hmm. comes to my head. So let's see. And I am not even going to sketch it. Usually you put a sketch on and I am just going to wing it. The way that you are holding the brush and stuff and the way that you... Is this like 
do we know if it was his way because every painter holds it differently and does it differently yeah, right well we studied his strokes and Has i mean even if i even it, if yeah. i practice for like you know 100 years i would not be able to paint like raja ravi varma it is an impossibility you know it is a talent that he was born it and i'm sure if if uh, raja ravi varma was asked to act although i doubt uh, that i what i'm saying is true but he won't be uh, so good at it but i think he was a great actor to keep people entertained like if i was to do your mm. portrait and you are sitting there so you have to engage <coughs> me others i'll keep going like yeah so i have to engage yeah. you mm -hmm. and i would i would come to you and i would like you know i would probably go do something like that and go okay you know little flirtatious yeah well, and it might lead to a lot of things so i guess that was the and that was who he was right was or at the, least the, that's the part that uh, the film is showing yeah and and yeah i mean all artists are like that i mean uh, sometimes you know it is blown out of proportion but somebody who is so involved in what he's doing you know he would obviously uh, have a you know certain he's more worried about what he's doing than his and and that was his life he was he was really a painter rang rasiya rang rasiya you know what i really wanted to do i did not want to put the red in there and then that's a mistake what i really wanted to do was this oh but that's not what he did His art was much more like realist and I'm not playing Raja Ravi Varma. Okay, right. you're playing yourself. This is what Randeep would do. This okay. is you said play into thing and I this is what I would do. <laughs> so that's my little Okay, I want her to learn this. But this is what I I like uh, it. Uh, yeah, if I not put that red maybe, in there it no, was just maybe it's just a tikka, a red like a ah, symbol, good. sim you good know. Good idea. It'll complete it. Good idea. There's something Japanese about this god I have to say. Well, this is my version of Lakshmi. Yeah, okay. Works. Works. Like, don't touch it. Mm. So, tell me this. 4 years in the making, right? Mm. I mean, in the it was made, but now you're releasing it 4 years later or 5 6 years. years later. Yeah. Um what uh is going to be that advantage? Does it matter? Does it not matter? Why does it matter and why doesn't it? Well, I believe that if it had come at that time, it would have come before its time. And that has been the tragedy with Ketan Mehta the filmmaker always. Would have come before his time because at that time bi bi biopics were not in fray. He, the only one big biopic that was made it was made by him called Mangal Pandey, and now there is a certain you know aspiration quality to all to all all, all of India with this new government coming in. We we realizing that you know a common man can stand up and do something. So there is the things that that you know people want to see about icons or people who achieve something. What was good in them, they want to imbibe and want to learn from their mistakes. So there is that quality that we have, which is already there. The other thing is there are more cinemas now. The factions of cinema going audience is very divided oh. and overlapped. There has been a. So uh, where is this? Where is this targeted at? This is targeted at uh, everybody really. So then everybody mm. who's above 18 okay because <laughs> it has frontal nudity etc yeah it has it has a lot of sensuality and and there's another person asking me this question today and i said uh, you know it it's not that we have shown more skin yeah there is frontal nudity but that's just one scene but there are other scenes but what it there is is that there is a lot of rawness and uh, purity to that passion which really you know me i mean i i did just some too i did not get uncomfortable but i watched it like this yeah you know, looking good you know okay fine but when i watched this movie i think after 4 years yesterday i was sitting like this yeah you, you you're very like it's very easy to sit opposite you there are a lot of people i sit opposite actors where i know i'm asking uncomfortable questions and they get uncomfortable and the moment is on I'm feeling like great ease like I could just la oh, la you. you know You can yeah. ask me anything I I've, I've got Are nothing Are you single? Kind of. What does kind of mean? Kind of means nothing. That's disrespect to whoever Ka you're with. No, you know? No, no, you no, it is yeah. not disrespect to whoever you're with. The point is that I really do go and try and live these parts. I really go and be a sportsman. I really go and do those things. within that thing if you are with me or understanding of me it's okay you have to let me be and let me go so what is the kinder then why kinder then you're with someone right who are you with who are we talking about kinder well i i, I don't want to talk about it that's a very personal part i don't want to put that person into this i can say what i want i hmm. don't want to put that person into this because situation. it's kind of if it was if it i, was I don't want to put those people into it okay those people <laughs> 
bit of like a <sighs> like is your is that the image playboy what? because it, before that you had like a committed relationship with sushmita you had another committed relationship with an older woman blah 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 where you've been a toy boy all sorts of things right mm -hmm. but but now are you a bit of a player is that what the new randeep is i don't think i'm a data player kind of a thing but i'm a lover another word means <laughs> a little bit here a little bit there moving on yeah yeah that look is giving it away and part of it is also something that adds to your sex appeal i think or at least for me and i have a little surprise for you oh really yeah i like surprises because that's I'd surprise hard, no you may i'm very hard to get like surprise it. i would be very hard to surprise well me. you may or may not like it can we have the surprise but you have to go with it since you go with everything yeah mm. so bring it on god i want i want to touch one of those for like and uh, four, five this very years. kind gentleman is lending us his prized possession of Thank the you, saxophone brother. can can randeep have a little kya hai kya hai मैंने ये तो वो है ना दिस इज नॉट ऑल्टो सेक्स दिस इज इज ऑल्टो सेक्स इट्स वेरी फैंसी वन मैन फैंसी बनेगा बैरिंगटन मैंने तो ये आई हैव नॉट टच वन ऑफ दिस फॉर ऑल दिस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड फोर इयर्स इट बिकॉज हॉर्सेस टू कवर माय लाइफ फर्स्टली एंड सेकेंडली आई स्टार्टेड फाइंडिंग दैट द द the tenor of my voice was getting affected i read that but i have to say can you just stop for one second hmm. there is something very sexy about this image oh it is better yeah. when i use stand yeah, up yeah. and do it there hmm. is something sexy about oh mm i don't have the muscles anymore mm it's not so easy easier than it is. Anyway, that's all I can do without practice.